Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to be here. Um, I felt really bad that I wasn't able to get a video out uh, to you guys last week, but I kind of had a little bit of a life curveball thrown at me and I will talk about that in this video because it did affect my reverse diet. Now, we are two weeks post-show. I can't believe that it's been two weeks because it feels like it's been way longer than that. Um, kind of crazy. But I'm excited for today's video because I got a lot of really great questions on, <clears throat> on my show day video that I'm going to um, address here. And I also pulled Instagram um, some questions as far as like reverse dieting. So I'm gonna talk about that. And I'm also going to, you know, tell you guys like what's happening right now, um, what the game plan is for the next show. So yeah, I'm really, really excited for this video. But before we dive in, I just want to first say thank you. Um, the comments of congratulations and just support, it was overwhelmingly unexpected. And I just want to say it was I've never felt so supported in a show before. It is by far the most fun I have ever had competing. It's to date my favorite show I've ever done. I Even though I took third place and I've taken first place at other shows before, this was by far the best experience it just from start to finish. It was so much fun and I cannot wait to hit the stage again. So to get started, the first thing um, that I want to talk about is addressing some of the questions that um, I had about the show day itself. Um, the main question was understanding like the actual show day process as far as like the judging and that type of stuff. And so I just wanted to explain that really quick. I, I kind of forgot that you guys have never been to a show before or this may have been like your first experience like seeing like the process. And so just wanted to explain that just like super quickly. Um, So on your show day, there are two times that you're in front of the judges. The first time is in the first part of the day and that is called pre-judging. So basically pre-judging is when the judges see you for the very, very first time. And they do comparisons with your class and the classes are based on height because if you think about it, you know, it's easier for the judges to compare people who are similar heights versus trying to compare somebody who's six foot and somebody who's five foot. So um, height classes are normally divided by an inch, maybe an inch and a half. And so you're compared, so you do your individual routine and then you're compared in your height class. And just based on your comparisons, you essentially know in your pre-judging process in that round, what place you've taken. Now I was in top five, we knew that. Um, we assumed I was top three just based on how they placed us on the stage. So there was my beautiful teammate um, right front and center and then I was next to her and then there was a girl on the other side and you could see just based on um, all of the girls on stage that we had the top three physiques. Um, they also judge you based on your posing routine. And so I, like, I'll be honest, I, I have taken first place simply based on the fact that yes, my physique was good, but my posing routine was better than everybody else's. And so I placed ahead of them. And so posing is a huge part of the process, but of course you do have to come in very conditioned, everything like that. And so overall, I don't think I said this in the last video, but I thought the placing was very fair. And as a competitor, that is like the one thing you like can't thank the judges enough for being fair with how they place you. Um, so I felt like I deserved third place. The girls who came in first and second, they were more conditioned than I was. Um, and that's okay. Like that just taught me like where I need to improve for the next show. And so, Anyway, in the last video, on the show day video, I had said in between pre-judge and night show, I was like, we sent, like I've already been placed, like we essentially already know. And I saw a comment that was like, well, wait a minute, how do you know if there's still the night show? So during pre-judging, like I said, based on how you finish on stage in the lineup, 
you basically know where you're placing. And after prejudging it is over, you have a few hours and then you go to the night show. Now the night show is where you get to do your routine again. That is where they take the professional stage photos. And that is where they do the placings, like when you find out like actually how you did. And so the prejudging aspect, like I said, happens during the day and the night show is just finals. When you find out like where your final place is. Um, where it's really, really important for finals is that if I would have been center stage in my final lineup and I had a really good idea I was taking first place, then at the night show, I would have gotten the chance to go for the overall, which you go out and the judges rejudge you, but you're being compared by all the other first place class winners. So it's really important that you, you know, don't go on like a sugar fest in between pre-judge and night show because you still want to look really good for the night show. And for me, um, I'm more motivated to get like the professional stage shots and I want to look really good for those. And so, uh, you know, I'm careful with how I eat, how much water I drink in between pre-judge and night show because I still want to look my, you know, the best I can for night show. And, you know, if for some reason I did end up taking first place, I, you know, I want the overall. So, so that's kind of the mindset in the, that's kind of the mindset I take going into the um, judging and night show process. Um, and that's, that's essentially how it goes. So I hope that that answers uh, the question that I had about that. If you guys have additional questions about it, you can always just like hit the comments and let me know. Every show, does it a little differently just depending on like how big the show is or how small the show is and so yeah it was a different process than what I had seen this in, in different ways and I always learn with every show that I do so that's that I was really happy with my placing I thought it was very fair um, yes, I missed my qualification, but that's okay because there's tons of shows and I just kind of, you know, know that if I, you know, can't qualify or if it's going to take me a little bit to qualify, I'll get eaten alive at, at nationals and um, I want to be a serious contender at nationals. So I'm absolutely okay with doing more shows in between to not only get the qualification, but to also continue to practice and figuring out like the best foods to eat right before, you know, you go on stage, like that type of stuff, like how my body responds the best to certain ways. So after the show, I had told you guys that I already had made the decision um, that I'm, you know, going full force into a reverse diet. Um, binging after a show is just like, it's not, you know, appealing to me. Um, I've been there, done that, and it's not worth it to me to like feel just like garbage for so many days. So yes, I enjoyed Saturday night. I had a few things on Sunday, but to me, in my mind, there's a 24 hour rule. And after, you know, those 24 hours are up, right back on track. And I did really well. Like I was very happy with the effort that I put into it as far as food. Um, I did make a little mistake though. It was actually a pretty big mistake. And this is something that I had never thought of and I have always done. And it was interesting because in the past where I like post binged food on shows, like you feel like crap, like you're, body is you know really bloated like all this kind of stuff and it does equalize like throughout the you know next week but I was like I'm gonna be really good with food but I still like bloated like really bad and I couldn't I was I was confused as to why and the interesting part is that I discovered that even if you keep food tight if you don't taper your water, your body is essentially like a dry sponge and will just absorb it and won't let it go. And so after the show, I was slamming back water trying to just rehydrate. And that was a really big mistake I will not make again. 
Um, it was really, really interesting to learn because I was like, like I said, I was slamming water post show all day Sunday, Monday, and I just was, I was so swollen. Like I couldn't get my rings off and I was like, what the heck? Like I was so good with food, like what is going on? And you know, like I said, I did some, you know, a little bit of like research and I was like, oh my gosh, I should have tapered my water because we do taper water down into the show. You need to taper it out of a show. So next show I do, I'm 100% going to be testing that theory and see how I do. Because the day after I was feeling like really good and as I was just like drinking so much water throughout the day, I could just like feel that I was just like getting, like I was just retaining water. And yeah, so that was a mistake that I will not be making again. And hopefully like if you compete, you know, that is something to like take a mental note of as well. Um, because again, like I said, if you taper in, you have to taper out. And I had always, I never thought of water as being like a big factor with that. So really important to note for next time. So after we got home, I was gun ho to hit the gym, hit my reverse diet. And I had an insane workout on Monday, you know, with all the food that I'd eaten and all that kind of stuff. Like I felt really, really good. And I was so sore. I was so sore because again, we tapered my workouts down into the show and I just like thought, okay, I'm just gonna go all in. And I, sh I just essentially, I did not deload properly. That's, that's basically at the end of the day, I was so good with food, but I was not good with water and I should have tapered my workouts as well. I should have sidestepped back into them. And, but I was like, oh my gosh, okay, improvement, like let's do this. And I went really, really hard. And my body did not respond well. I was not only retaining a bunch of water, I was incredibly sore. And then I just, like my body was just like in disarray. Like it just, it was not good. And I could feel myself starting to like, I was, I just wasn't feeling very well. And I ended up getting really, really sick. And I have never been sick post-show before, but I think what happened was that in combination of not deloading properly, my immune system just like tanked and um, I got sick. I got really, really sick and I was down for about five, six days, didn't go to the gym at all. I had no appetite. I was, I was not in good form. Like I was, it was not good. And um, that kind of affected my reverse diet quite a bit because I, you know, didn't have an appetite. I did my best trying to eat and um, I was not thirsty. Um, I, every time I ate something, like my stomach was just in so much pain. It was the weirdest thing. So when it was like my time to check in, I just, I messaged my coach. I was like, yo, I'm in bed. Like I'll check in next week, but like, I'm, I'm not good. <laughs> I am not good. And so um, as soon as I started to feel better, it was about after a week, I checked in again and I was really, it was my first check-in and I was really, really happy to see that my body stats, my weight, even though I was still had like a little bit of water retention and that type of stuff, my weight was the exact same as it was prior to starting peak week. And um, yeah, it's, great like that tells me that I you know did, I did my best and my body is okay like it, it was starting to like e like find its homeostasis and the cool part now is that because I am feeling better we can like really get into this reverse diet so I checked in a couple days ago I was really happy with how I had ended up you know landing um, for the week and um, I heard back from my coach. And so basically we've tapered back cardio 
and we've increased food just a little bit and each week we will continue to taper back cardio and increase food a little bit and the cool part about reverse dieting is that because I'm already lean um, eating more food is just gonna give me better workouts better pumps um, better energy when we decide on when I'm competing next it's not gonna be hard to like dial me right back down into the show because I'm already going to be hovering right around that pre-peak week um, stats. And so <clears throat> the goal right now is to improve. Um, I need it just based on um, how I looked on stage. I need bigger shoulders. Um, I need to fill out my glutes a little bit more. I need to make sure that I keep my waist really tight so I'll continue to be doing a lot of vacuums. Vacuums are one of my favorite ab workouts because it just keeps you like nice and tight. Um, and so that's, those are the goals right now. Um, I don't have a specific show date yet, but the goal is to go to nationals at the beginning of December in Florida. Um, and so I may hit the stage in October, may do a couple in November, like we'll see how it goes. But as of right now, my coach was like, focus on getting better because I'm still not quite a hundred percent. Like I'm good enough to, you know, be able to work out and, you know, diet properly, everything like that. Like I'm totally fine, but still not to a point where I want to put my body um, through a peak week and go into a show. Like I'm just, I'm not quite there yet. Overall, I am feeling really, really good. I am very, very happy with um, how, like I said, like the show went, everything like that these last two weeks. We didn't quite go as planned, but we are right back on track and so we're doing really good with that. And so, yeah, that's kind of, that's kind of the story and what's going on. And so I did get a couple of really good questions on Instagram that I just wanted to talk about quickly and then I'll um, conclude this video. Um, the first question was, uh, do I have any regrets or wishes of what I uh, would have done differently? Um, besides deloading properly, tapering back in water and workouts, um, overall, no. I don't have any regrets. I don't. I wouldn't have done anything differently. I gave it my 100%, 110%, and um, where I landed was totally fair. And I'm really, really happy with how the weekend was. And so it's just cool because um, now as I continue to do more shows, um, the goal is to just continue to do better and better. And so to me, it's all exciting. Um, but no, no regrets. Um, the next one was really good. Um, how has your Hashimoto's been with the stress of competing and reverse dieting back out? So I don't know if you guys know this, but I do have Hashimoto's, which means I have a hypothyroid. Um, and you know, my body in the beginning of prep was like, what the heck? Um, I struggled with a lot of inflammation um, just base, based on the new stress that I was putting on it. But what I just, you know, discovered about myself was that so long as I was very mindful about the foods I was eating, gluten-free, no dairy, low artificial sweeteners, and I kept that consistent, and making sure that getting very good quality sleep was a priority and um uh also doing everything i can with recovery with you know taking epsom salt baths and just outside of the gym just trying to keep my mental stress levels as low as possible um learning like new coping things like all that journaling all that good stuff um I, my body has actually done really, really well. This is the best I have felt since my diagnosis of Hashimoto's about four years ago. And so um, in the beginning, it was um, a learning process for sure. And I, you know, surprised myself. So I was really glad that I was able to prove to myself that Hashimoto's uh, doesn't have to be a factor when it comes to, you know, getting results. 
Um, it's just all a matter of, you know, figuring out what your body responds best to. So it's a really great question. How much weight did I lose in the process? So my, so we reverse dieted in the beginning for, I want to say like eight weeks and my high, my highest weight in with my coach, I believe was 138 pounds. And I started peak week at 129. So that is where I'm currently hovering around. And when I left for the show, that morning I weighed in at 125 pounds. So overall, I think it was like, I, I mean like I would say nine pounds maybe like of like actual body fat drop because I don't count water as um, uh, like weight loss. So um, yeah, so I would say around like nine, nine, eight, nine pounds that I lost. And so now that I am um, down around like 129, I actually, I actually think I'm about 128. Um, because <clears throat> my last check-in, I was on, I was on the tail end of my cycle. And so that always like skews weigh-ins for me. Um, so I assume that I'm around 128 pounds and the goal is to stay right around here, give or take a pound. So yeah. Um, tips for dealing with weight gain mentally. I think it's just really important to understand that you can't maintain like super lean show shredded all the time. Like you just can't. Um, but that doesn't mean that you have to put on 15 pounds after. So to me, you know, staying around, you know, two to five pounds is completely realis realistic, especially if you reverse diet properly. Um, so I think it's just important to remember that um, weight gain is normal. And so long as you feel healthy and you like how you look in your clothes, then that's really all that matters versus the scale. So that's kind of my you know, thoughts on that. What is the expe expectations of a reverse diet? The expectations of a reverse diet is that, um, you know, when you go into a show, and you taper down, your metabolism is used to a certain amount of calories and a certain amount of exercise, cardio, everything like that. And so because that is what your metabolism is used to, you have to treat your metabolism post-show exactly like you did pre-show. And as you reverse diet and you slowly, I call it like kindling, you slowly throw kindling on the fire, you know, it's not gonna douse the fire, right? It's just your metabolism is just gonna pick up a little bit more and um, you should be able to really maintain your body stats as you slowly taper off of cardio and increase your food a little bit more. And so you have to just think of your metabolism that way because like I said, your body is like a sponge after a show. You're, you know, not just for water, but also your fat cells. And so if you throw a bunch of food at your body, let's say like 500 calories every single day or a thousand calories because you're binging <clears throat> and you do that every single day for a month or so, like your metabolism never recovered, but it happily took all that food and stored it as body fat. And so that's where it can get harder to lose that weight again because your metabolism never recovered. <clears throat> so reverse dieting is so important. It is so important. Um, even with my own clients, I reverse diet, I would say 95% of them because I, uh, the majority of the women come to me chronically, you know, under eating and, <clears throat> and they've been doing it for so many years that they can't cut anymore from, you know, a thousand calories, 1100 calories. And so we reverse diet them. 
and their bodies respond really, really well. And so it's it takes a lot of patience, but it's 100% doable. And in my opinion, the only way you should be handling your metabolism. That's just, you should reverse diet in and you can reverse diet out. That's like that tapering. So you should never do extremes. That's just my opinion. How long until the next show? I don't know yet, but I'm assuming probably four weeks, maybe five weeks. Um, but like I said, we are going to be keeping my body stats two weeks out ready for a show. And um, so if my coach is like, hey, let's do this show in two weeks, I'll be like, okay, let's go. All right, I'm gonna answer one more and then I'll go ahead and wrap this video up. What types of foods do you eat after your show on your reverse diet can you just go all in so um that's interesting too because i you guys have seen like if you've been watching my show prep videos for a while you see that i basically eat the same foods all the time whether it's just a little bit more or a little bit less and so i had some fun foods after the show and then it was right back on track even when I was sick, I was still eating, you know, oatmeal, cream of rice, like things that were like easy to, you know, eat things that my body was used to, egg whites, that type of stuff. Um, because, you know, your, your stomach and your digestive system has been used to eating a certain way for so long that, um, you know, for me personally, feeling like garbage going into training sessions is not ideal and so i treat my going into the show exactly the same as i do going out of a show um i used to not though and you know i used to go all in and eat whatever and fill my macros with whatever and um i always regretted it and so i've just kind of gotten to that mindset where i'm just like eh, it's it's like it's really not worth it to me i will say the one things that i have added back in that i really did miss was coffee creamer and sugar-free ketchup so those are the two things that um are definitely back in the diet um but other than that everything else is you know essentially the same so i hope you guys liked this video let me know if you guys have any other questions that I can answer in you know, the next video. Let me know what you guys want to see more of. I know that I covered a lot um, going into this show. And so if there's like anything new that you guys want to like see and like, you know, know about, like, please let me know. Um, I absolutely have loved taking you guys on this journey. Like I said in the last video, we're not done this is just the beginning um so i'm really really excited to continue to take you guys on this journey with my goal of getting to nationals and then um my ultimate goal of winning my pro card winning my ifbb pro card that is like the overarching goal but the goal really is to just become better like that is always the goal at the end of the day so I hope you guys have a great day. Make sure to like the video if you liked it. Subscribe, hit the bell, and we will see you next time.